right, now that we've got the turkey in the oven, we're going to get the potatoes started. As you can see, my trusty little assistant here has already got her started. Yes, she's four years old and she can use a potato peeler. So you just peel your potatoes. You can use a knife, potato peeler, whatever kind of fancy gadget or non-fancy gadget you happen to have. And I save my potato peelings because I feed them to my pigs and chickens. Although most of the time the chickens don't eat them, but the pigs love them. Once your potatoes are peeled, slice them in half. It doesn't have to be pretty. This has to be functional. Thank you. I'll get to yours in just a minute. And you're going to slice them in chunks. Here, you do that one. Now, if you're wondering, she's using one of those little knives that you uh, carve pumpkins with on Halloween. It looks sharp and dangerous, but it really is not. <laughs> Good job. Cool. Cool. With the first of no, we're not making french fries with these. We're going to be making mashed taters. Potatoes. Potatoes, that's right. Alright. Let's fill this pot up, and then we'll come back. We're almost done, ain't we? We're almost done. Here you go. You want to do that one? Why didn't you finish this one? All right, we got all the taters done. Now we're going to rinse this out. Kind of rinse out all the, you can kind of see dirt on it a little bit. That's from the peeling. So I'm going to rinse this out real good. And a couple changes of water. Be right back. Okay, I rinsed them out real good in two changes of very cold water. And, yeah, you want to stir? As you can see, I've got water in it already. You fill it up to about right there. This is going to go on the stove on medium heat, and we're going to bring it to it. Yeah, we're going to bring it to a medium boil. Okay, our potatoes are finally at a medium boil. And we're going to let it boil like this for about 5 or 10 minutes until they get uh, fork tender which means when I stick my fork in there like that it's gonna fall apart some of them have already gotten to that point but the ones um, down further in are still a little bit on the tough side all right so we just took the potatoes off the stove drained them and now we're gonna mash them up using this old-school potato masher some people uses a cake mixer to do this I'll just do it this way. Ooh, that steam. They're nice and hot. Okay, I'm going to add in here a little bit of milk. Not exactly sure how much because, you know, I never measure anything. it all up real good make it nice and creamy so I'm gonna be adding more milk I can see that already I'm gonna mix this all up real good and be right back 
All right, so I had to get up a few more lumps, added some more milk. Now I had the consistency that I want. It's a little bit on the thick side, but it's like a silky thick. You can make it as lumpy or as silky as you like, but I kind of like my potatoes to be like comfort food. All right, last ingredient is salt. And just put, I don't know, however much you think you need. Stir it up. Then when you get the gravy ready, pour the gravy over these taters. And they'll be very delicious.